right. Hey. Mr. Rotman Dunbar, how are you yeah, doing? I'm, you know, I'm hot and sweaty. You, know, you see my girls like patting me down already. You know, it's, it's the hottest red carpet I've been on, except for in Africa. Ooh. We just came back from Africa from one of the worst red carpet experiences we've ever had. Violence. Oh my yeah, lord. It's crazy. Mayhem. Mayhem. Murder mystery. Okay, now we all know this. <laughs> now we know y'all are a beautiful couple, but I mean, y'all got people oh, wow, fighting over y'all? I mean, I can't understand. I am. No. No, oh, him? no not like, even. Lady. Look at me. Whatever. <laughs> I was getting yeah. elbowed in the mouth. Whatever. I, I knew both, <laughs> they were fighting over both of you all. So tell me about the film. What attracted you to this script? You know what? I really wanted to work with Roger Bob again. You know, I worked with him on uh, uh, The Family That Prays with Tyler Perry. But, you know, he was uh, the AD on that project. And uh, he had a great vision. And, I, and we sat and talked for, you know, a number of different times. And he told me about the project before. And I... It, and I just wanted to work with him, you know. Um, and then when Vanessa came into the fold, it was a, you know, a beautiful synergy of, of, of all worlds, and it ended up being a great project. I mean, and, and especially uh, Bron uh, Victoria and also Kyla came to the set, and they just really ripped it up. So everything just came together really, really nicely. And, and you know, David wrote a good script, and uh, you know, we just tried to execute it and make it viable. Okay. Can you tell us more about your character in the project? Um, my character in the project, is, I love to say that he is. Uh, a man born into being a father you know uh, he was on the fence about being a father from the very beginning and then when it's time to actually step up and do it you know they, I, I like to say when the children are are born then the father is born along with it I know we heard uh, heard that saying like a number of different times and that's what this character really is in the story oh, okay so what do you hope that people take away from this film um, you know, I, I hope people take away that we're all human and we do human things and uh, I hope they, they're entertained in the process and, and, and realize that, uh, you know, your blessings don't necessarily come in the packages that you, uh, you want them to come in or, or come in the packages, packages that you expect them to come in. You know, sometimes God is, uh, uh, is really slick and funny. And, uh, you know, he wants to say, hey, I know door number three really looks bad, but on, behind that door is everything that I want you to have. And, and I think that people need to have an open heart to uh, open up certain, certain doors. Okay. So what other projects do you have going on? Because uh, you are Maya, a busy man. Maya and I are writing for, uh, the, for Richard Kapoor. They're turning it, uh, you know, we did the stage play, they're turning it into a sitcom. And so we're, we're pinning one of the episodes for that. Uh, right now, she just finished writing on another television series for Bounce, which is great. Uh, we're working on another another pilot together. Uh, well, actually, two Insight and also Dead Man Walking. Um, I'm filming Sons of Anarchy right now. Just went back to join the the sixth season. Um, just got invited uh, last week to go back and do the game. Uh, Pastor Brown, which actually premiered here three years ago, uh, is is going to come out um, towards the end of the year. We cleared up a lot of issues with that, and I'm um, happy to say it's finally going to come out and. You know, please look for that, support it. I know a lot of people have been, you know, hanging around wondering if the film was going to ever come out because the cast was so wonderful. Sally Richardson, Nicole Ari Parker, Keith David, Ernie Hudson, Michael Beach, Michael B. Jordan, Tasha Smith, Tisha Campbell, um, you know, just to name a few. I mean, Creflo Dollar. I mean, and it, it, it's one actor that we have in there. It's just absolutely incredible. I love him so much. Uh, Rockman Dunbar. He uh, he really lit up the sky. I know, right? He's <laughs> <laughs> But he's, he's great. He's great in the film. So you should check it out. Oh, my God. How do you have time to date him? Like, what are you not doing? Okay, well, yeah, She grounds me. She keeps it straight and keeps it real. She cracks the whip when I get out of line. And, you I know, like I love Claire it. Huxtable slash Roseanne. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Emphasis on the Roseanne. Oh, okay. See, that ain't in mind. That ain't in mind. What attracted you to the movie? Okay, what? What attracted you to the movie? What attracted me to it? Um, just family values and the character. Mom, doing the premiere here at the American Black Film Festival. I am so excited. This is actually my first premiere, so it's really different for me. I'm not quite used to it, but I'm having a lot of fun. You're doing it like a champ. <laughs> Thank you. So what other projects you got going on? Do what? What other projects do you have going on? Right now, um, I'm a singer too, so I'm working on my first album, 
and other than that, that's about it right now. Okay. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm great. You are looking fabulous as always. Well, thank you very much. I am wearing Byron Law's Beauty Mark. Okay. A wonderful designer out of New York that I have loved and who has dressed me for many a fine affair. So oh. I'm grateful to, um, Byron to be. Byron Law's. So yes, yes, you know, and Beauty he dresses Mark. you and he dresses Barbie. Oh. So you better go and dress my black Barbie. You better rock I'm it. trying to rock that black Barbie thing. Go on, girl. Thank you, sis. So tell me, what attracted you to this movie? Oh, my goodness. Well, an opportunity to work with first Rockman Dunbar, my soulful husband. And then, of course, to be there as... Um, as Roger Bob, our illustrious director, you know, transferred back into his first passion of directing. All these things led me to loving it. I also had already had a relationship with GMC, the network that is bringing you this fabulous film. I had done Sugar Mamas. I had a fabulous time working with another colleague. It's my friends that keep me employed. I see that. Ourselves and our boys, you know, so we got to do it for ourselves, right? So Terry Vaughn had, um, had produced her Nina, Nina, um... Nina Entertainment, Nina Productions had um, done the Sugar Mama's piece for GMC and I got introduced to the network and it was like this perfect storm of opportunity and time coming together and, and, and everything, working in Atlanta for a month. So everything was right, so I couldn't say no. So what was it, what did you like about your character? Tell me about your character. Well, the script I really appealed to because I, my mom also died when I was a child, so this story about a young girl and her sister who um, whose mom passed away and how you grow and develop and you know, survive that huge tragic thing. Um, the fact that I am a mother, I could relate to someone's great need and passion. Tanya, my character's great need and passion to have a baby of her own that looked just like her. But to really also come to the realization that your family or a family is a miraculous thing and it comes to you in miraculous ways. And when you're open to it, what God's design is for you is perhaps even better than what you could design. Not even perhaps, but definitely better than you could design for yourself. And so this perfect storm of these children needing parenting and these parents needing a child came together in this movie and it's heartwarming and wonderful. And, and a different depiction, you know, Rockman always likes to say, you know, um, that as African Americans we've been taking care of other people's children since we got off the boat. Yep. And so, you know, we, but we haven't really seen that story. And um, and this is a sort of reverse blind side, if you will, where, okay. where this affluent couple is, you know, or a middle class working couple is um, really able to offer something and save some children in need. Beautiful. So we definitely haven't seen that. No. <laughs> where the black people come to the rescue of the white people. So. <laughs> and what do you hope people take away from this part of this film? I hope they see themselves. I hope that they see that family is about love and, and that um, you have to be open. When you ask for something, you have to be open to when, when it gets delivered to you, when God delivers it to you. It may not come in the package or in the way that you want it to. Often people are like trying so hard for a baby, they adopt a baby and then they go and have one because the pressure is off and then they're able to really, you know, just be in the flow of it and um and then and then and then their baby gets delivered to them, you know. So it's 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 a marvelous kind of thing and maybe that's what happens in part two of Raisin Izzy and them. The sequel, you know. So this is a, uh, your first time seeing a film, is it? Yes, it is. <laughs> well, you know, I felt good about my performance. I feel good about my performance, but we never know how it all is gonna come together. And of course I'm gonna be the most critical. So I'm knowing that it's all gonna be good take all mistakes for love and you know I just I, I like it's not acting is not a is an exact science it isn't an exact science so I gave my best effort and I hope it was a good day all right thank you so much